We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special news bulletin direct via satellite from our On The Spot Task Force. GOD Channel 5 News here live at NGYC. Today we will bring you the fruits of the Spirit, which is found in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And against such things there is no law. We will be right back after this break from Gentleness Gel Shampoo. We're here at the Johnson household to introduce our new Gentle Gel Shampoo. Here's the Johnson household at home. <laughs> Let's go inside. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Johnson, what kind of shampoo are you using? Ah, the leading brand. Why don't you try our new essential gel shampoo? And it's gentle, too. Gentle gel shampoo. Gentleness is always better. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? If you have a loved one that you know does drugs, dial 1-800-F-O-R-L-O-V-E. That's 1-800-4-LOVE. In case you didn't hear it, 1-800-F-O-R-L-O-V-E. WGOD. In the international news today, we find that the Beijing conflict is still going on. There has been extensive bombing in China. Look at this tiny girl helping this old woman. Let's, my name's Diane. Let's find out what provoked her to do such a kind thing. Well, um, here in NGYC we're talking about the fruits of the Spirit and Jesus wants me to do it. Back to you, Michelle. We have a continuing story from yesterday's broadcast. We'll bring you back to Howard Costell at Berry Lake, where a certain surfer, Montague August Hall III, also known as Skip, is still trying to catch a wave. Hello again, sports fans. Howard Costell, live at beautiful Berry Lake, where Monty August Hall the fourth is here trying to catch a wave. Monty? Yeah, dude? Have you caught a wave as of yet? Well, not yet, dude. I've been out here for two days and it's like nothing. It's like nothing. How do you remain so patient? Well, dude, at NGYC, man, Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23, dude, it's like tells us about patience, man. Patience. You gotta sit out here and wait, man, I guess. So they say patience is a virtue. Let's go back to the newsroom. Um, also in sports today, our very old sportscaster, Howard Cosell, will again be coming to you live from Berry Lake, where he is now covering the snail race. All we know is that since 7 a.m. this morning, two little campers
campers from NGYC have been patiently urging their snails across the finish line. They seem to have drawn a large crowd of people. Let's now go to Howard. Thank you, Michelle. This is Howard Cosell coming to you live from beautiful Barry Lake, where the snail race is about to take place. Come along. Hello, girls. This is Howard Cosell. What is your name? My name is Teresa. Hi. What's your snail's name? My snail's name is Fuggle, and it's winning! Very good. And you, Mom? My name is Molly, and my snail's name is Pokey. Pokey. Pokey and Sluggo. How long have you girls been out here? Oh, seven, eight, two, nine. Four days. Four days. <laughs> Since seven o'clock this morning. <laughs> you must have a lot of patience. How do you remain so patient? Patient? I never, I never thought about it that way. I guess we are patient. Yeah. Well, we'll be right back after this word from Food of the Gnome Underwear. Here's a little story I got to tell so, about nine big words you know so well. We started way back in history with my main DJ, G-O-Z. We learned some verses from N-G-Y-C, and we're here to tell you what they all mean. Due to the spirit, ones you all know, love, peace, patience, and self-control. Now my two main boys have something to say about the other five fruits coming your way. Goodness, gentleness, kindness, faithfulness, and joy. Under these things, we cannot toy. You might think we're the coolest you ever saw. Against such things, there is no law. That's all. That's all, folks. Too busy eating. Okay, what's the key verse for this week? Uh, Let's say it together. Okay. Okay. Galatians, Galatians 5, 22, 22 23. 23. Okay. But, um, but the, the fruit, fruit of, of the Spirit. spirit. Oh, fruit. I love fruit. Okay. But the fruit yeah. of the Spirit is, is love, love, joy, joy Peace, peace of pie. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Love, joy, peace, patience, patience kindness, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, faithfulness gentleness, gentleness, and, and uh, self-control. Control. control. Uh, against these things, there is no law. I got it. So what? Don't you see what they have to do with all of this? What do you mean? I mean, what about self-control? Oh, self-control? 
guess I really never thought about it. I guess maybe I do need a little self-control. I think you need to go to the Lord and ask him for help. Yeah. Maybe I need a, a little help. Okay, I'll do it. Um, can I get a Hershey bar, please? Sure. Let's say you want a bigger or a little one? Um, big one. Big one. Big one. Okay. Here you go. I just want your card with that. All right. Thank you. Okay, see you later. Well watchers, they were great. I don't know, I guess I oh <laughs> I can't believe you. I guess I guess all it takes is just a little self-control. Yeah. And we're back. This is just in. A news flash from Alabama. Down on Mary Lake to cover the story is our own Sharon Annan. Over to you, Sharon. morning, Emily Latilla from Hicksville, Alabama reported her paddleboard missing. Upon investigation, it was found out that the perpetrators, three mental patients, assumed dangerous but unarmed from the Alabama State Psych Award, had escaped at the same time. It's been seven hours now since the three have paddled up Mississippi and now seem to be at beautiful Berry Lake. We've got Peace like a river, we've got peace like a river, we've got peace like a river in our soul, in our soul. We've got peace like a river, we've got peace like a river, we've got peace like a river in our soul, in our soul. Goodbye for now. For all of us at WGOD, have a good night. 